school sophomore went from dancing and playing the drums to being bedridden. For months, she was a medical mystery, but now doctors call her one of the youngest people ever to be diagnosed with ALS or Lou Gehrig's disease. KSPR's Michelle Sherwood joins us now with the story. Michelle? Christine Joe, 16 year old Haley Stevens lost control of her limbs one by one this year, and it all played out at school. Her mom says she's as feisty as any teen, but her life has definitely taken a drastic turn. Get my sis. Oh. Oh. Just months ago, Haley Stevens' normal routine included dancing, playing the drums, and acting out in drama. But now, normal is much different. She has enough strength that she can push a button. Haley's mom, Gretchen, noticed that Haley was having trouble with shakes, then walking, and the big one, dancing. They had to move her, they had to roll on the floor, and she couldn't get up off the ground. So the rest of the girls kept dancing, and she was struggling to just stand up. Months went by before doctors diagnosed Haley with ALS, a disease that attacks the nerves. They have no idea why it happened. As far as our doctors are concerned, they're, she's the youngest they've ever seen. Eventually, probably all of her muscles will stop functioning eventually. When her nurse is here, we have to kind of jockey for positions to get to everything. And so it would be nice if we had just a little bit more room. <laughs> right now, Haley's friends at school are trying to help the family pay for renovations needed for the house because everything is different. I would trade places with Haley in an instant. Though things have drastically changed, Haley still has her beautiful smile and a fiery attitude. Plus, a mother's love that understands so much, even when it seems everything is unclear. Oh, come over and watch a movie. You just have to call her. Okay, next weekend. Haley is still a 16-year-old, and her... Her body may be feeling her, but her brain is definitely not. And she has just as much attitude and energy and enthusiasm and passion for things um, now that she did before, probably more. You can find out more about Haley and how you can help this weekend at a benefit at Central High School. A lot of local bands will play, and there will also be a silent auction that Saturday at 7. All the money will help pay for renovations needed for their house. Covering Springfield, Michelle Sherwood, KSPR News. Opening ceremonies began the Missouri Special Olympics in Springfield tonight. Chief Meteorologist Kevin Lighty provided some pretty nice weather for them. He joins us now from the weather.